electrical assembly, we make a hodgepodge of all different kinds of flash cures. Uh, approximately 4,000 flash cures a year go out of this facility. And when they go out, this is the only product that we actually make red. And have you ever wondered why we make them red? I was kind of wondering yeah. why I was here. I'll tell you why. If you ask about uh, VF Corp and Nutmeg Mills, imagine having 50 plus automatics in one shop and looking for a blue flash gear. Yeah. If you're a production manager, yeah, yeah. you're going to be looking a long time. So this was set up so that the production manager can see the location of his flashes if he needs to move them quickly. Yeah. So that's why the red. When we changed the color red, because as the shops got bigger it became an issue, we changed the naming to peppers. They all come through and these guys will run them through here, they get tested here, and then they'll get dropped out over to there. This is a cayenne. Yeah. That's a cayenne. Uh, these come up to twice this size. And they've got bigger blowers inside, uh, bigger stands. Uh, you've got a sensor overload uh, for temperature overload. This is your sensor that's actually reading the temperature of the uh, flash on the gel of the ink so you don't over flash. These guys are bench tech, so we keep this facility environmentally controlled for air conditioning and so forth for them. Hi, guys. They will build your sub panels. All the sub panels will go through and they'll put in the PLCs, the servo amplifiers. Everything goes through here and once they're done, we are a UL approved house, we will be able to UL approve this panel. And so it'll be approved whether it's UL or uh, CE. Once they're completed with it, they'll tag it. And once it's tagged, we actually have inspectors come in here typically about every three weeks or so. We, we don't know, it's random, but they'll come in and do a spot check. And you've, you're either spot on or you're way off. It's, there's no in between with them. So this one's going to Bangladesh, so it will be CE approved. But even the wiring harnesses that go through the con uh, center shafts are already done, they're numbered, they're ready to drop onto the control panel and move on to the next. But everything is set up to go that route. And these are the machines that they're keeping ahead of the guys in the production floor. Once these people finish all the electrical on the machine, out in the uh, shop, from start to finish to complete an automatic, is two hours. Every wire, we cut the wire to length, so this measures the length of the wires that they're putting in. It will also take the wire and we leave you a little bit of extra in case you ever have a problem, you've got to strip it off. But we'll measure it to length. After we measure it to length, we don't leave it to an operator to uh, make a mistake of, of doing it improperly. This is what we We'll take a piece of wire and we'll have a machine strip it. So when it's stripped by a machine, there's no nick on the wire. Mm -hmm. There's not, no coating taken off. There's no wire braids missing. And then we'll apply the stake on automatically, and then we know the exact right pressure is on the stake on. So that way, when it goes out, because our QC guys, if you'll notice they got a little pouch on their side with a pair of needle nose pliers. They'll walk up to a control box and start jerking wires. If one wire, comes loose on the stake on, you do not want to be over here and hear the conversations. <laughs> because we don't want ghosts in the field with loose wires. So they make sure, and that's checked a lot on every machine. Mm -hmm.